Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Oxygen Not Included Strategy and Tactics Episode 22. So let's uh let's get things unpaused here a moment. So in our last episode we got ourselves one epic uh, bit of a pipeline here. Um and we are uh, looking to um uh, harvest up all this hydrogen gas and add it to our thing. Oh hey! -he! Yeah, you laid an egg. Good job, Draco. You're you're a little out of the out of reach here. Um, but um, I do still want you marked as as that. Once that first egg hatches, that we can grab that egg. It's not going nowhere. Oh, more pinch of pepper seeds. I think uh, I think we're full up on pinch of pepper seeds. But good to know either way. Oh, one thing I wanted to do here is uh, I'm actually going to um, uh, I'm going to deconstruct this and I'm going to deconstruct the grooming station and they're going to trade places, which means I also want to cancel that. Um, I'm going to deconstruct you. I know that's going to render my my farm and or my ranch not a ranch temporarily, but as soon as we uh, as soon as we get that fixed up and swapped, first off, this will warm more centrally, so it's not just these plants that are growing, and secondly, we can get some uh, 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 automation tech going um, as far as a dupe sensor goes. Ooh, we are desperately out of that, and I keep hearing stuff running out of juice here all right yeah we're we're making the we're making the refined metals that's good all right plenty of stuff here the other thing i want to do is start work on um uh, uh getting this going this um uh, so what we're gonna do here we're going to I think we're gonna, yeah, insulated tiles here will be the correct answer. We can't build there, so we are gonna need, we're gonna need a little bit of a leg up here. Yeah, we'll go up like that. Give it plenty of room. Now, once we, once we pop the cork here, it will, uh, um, It'll 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 need a little bit uh, of of assistance here, um, but that's okay. Um, let me see here. Yeah, they're not going to be able to get the top here, so we are going to need to get a little step ladder here, and maybe one over here. That should let them clear the whole room. Now this could. Um, start doing doing some some stuff here but we are going to need to get that analyzed and in order to analyze it we are going to have to uncover it and well actually i think the keystone is that block right there if we keep this block intact for, until the very end it won't start farting stuff up All right, while they do that, let me repair my, um... All right, yeah, I thought I told you to deconstruct. All right, our thing's still working properly, yeah? Yeah, this is still doing its thing. All right, what's your thing? Uh, irrigation, we need more pooping. Come on, dupes, we need the poops. In fact, let's, um, instead of 50 50ing it, let's, um. Yeah, are you going 50? No, you're not going 50 50. Which is good. We want, we want it going straight up. So, I guess I don't have to do anything there. Oh, 
Don't worry, we'll be we'll having a, we'll have a solution to our power problem soon enough. Andrew, our plumber. Um, tinkering. Oh, please, tinkering. We need more. We need we need more runners. Uh, how's our food supply doing? Uh, 50, we're back up to 50. Oh, one other thing I wanted to do uh, with all these Pakus. We can't do anything with them just yet. We need to get into plastics before we can really tap their uh, potential. Uh, they are going to be a, a passive food source, but I do want to um, uh, kill exactly one of them. I don't think this is going to be a danger to them, but I still just want to ice one of them. And I'll show you in just a moment why. It'll tell me when combat's gonna combat. Is this thing filling up at all? No, not yet. Larissa! Oh, for Pete's sake! Larissa! This is the third time, girl! Come on! If you are this hell-bent on killing yourself, there's not much I can do. You're welcome? Alright, combat. Oh, well, Nathan's... Yeah, see, it wants to erupt. We're, we're, we're going, uh, we're going to seal this up here. just so we don't get a bunch of chlorine flowing down here. But yeah, this seems to be the keystone that holds it back. Otherwise, this place would be getting filled. Absolutely. Oh, it actually kind of acts like a ladder, too. Oh. You're too far away. Cancel the attack. Go attack someone closer. Should be as easy as sh shooting fish in a barrel. Hopefully the others don't swarm her. I don't think they do. Okay, so that the reason I did that, we called one of them, is so that we can get it on our consumables list. Um, let's see. Paku filet? No. We do not want anybody eating paku filet. We do, however, want to put Paku fillets um, in here, but more specifically, we want to um, uh, trigger cooked fish. And we couldn't do that until we had our first thing. The others we're going to let live uh, for now. I mean, they're, I'll explain the Paku farm and the stuff behind it afterwards. Um, but for now, I just wanted to get those kind of registered. Alright, and we captured our uh, Draco here. Excellent. Now if somebody would just actually deconstruct these things. Ooh, yeah, you don't like it in there. Too hot. We're, uh, we're going to need Atmo suits to really uh, do this thing properly. Um, and now that we have a little bit of reed fiber and we can shear a Draco here, um, we, can, we can get into that. Let's take a look. Textile, yeah, we need we need more uh, we need more of that. Yeah, we need a whole bunch of refined metal, which Shona, you're helping us with. Thank you very much. Did we get another? I know it's just a just a hatchling.
Now, now that I think about it, this guy might, um... Hmm... We may have a... You know what? I think I'm going to deconstruct this power shut off for the moment. Okay, we finally did that. Uh, we finally... We finally, uh deconstructed those things so let's reconstruct them uh let's see here stations grooming station goes over here and the um, heater space heater goes over here uh, and then with the automation grid here now we can do the duplicate motion sensor in good faith like that Plug that in, um, and then that'll turn on whenever a dupe comes up to groom, which is perfect. Soon we will have all this uncovered here, but we I want to make sure this is all surrounded by uh, the appropriate tiles. And, of course, we still need to dig up here, too, just to get some more mass in there. Alright, slowly getting back in there. Incubation 44. I just need to make sure that does not hatch. Because um, I don't have the means to uh, bring it down here. So yeah, that'll turn back on, and then we can start hugging them and caring for them and whatnot. And of course, we've got our little little bit of crude oil here. The more, the merrier for that. Yeah, this isn't really working very well here. This this little thing, I might need to get an actual like divert a pump up here, which actually isn't gonna isn't gonna cost too much. So I think I'll do that. Let's deconstruct you. Um, here's what we're gonna do. And we'll do a um, we'll do a liquid shut off here. And uh, well, once we once we replace this thing, we'll be able to do it. But for now, I think for automation, I think I'm just going to trigger that to a signal switch and just have the dupes hit it when we want to turn it off. And of course we need the pipes. So yeah, whenever this starts getting full, then we can turn it off. That way we don't have water spilling everywhere. Okay, well, we just finished up some research here. Um, we're, we're nearing the end here. Um, Glass forges, val ooh, valve miniaturization. I, I I want that. That may be useful in the near future. All right, pakus are still pakuing. So the way pakus work here, and why I'm actually not going to ranch them just yet is they're content to swim around here. They live for 25 cycles. During that time, they will they are guaranteed to lay exactly one egg, even though they're wild, but they don't need to be fed. Uh, once they die of old age, then you can harvest their filet and turn them into food, uh, which is awesome. Um, um, but once we're ready to actually start farming them properly, then things get a little bit crazier. They tear through your algae supply, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, I'll explain more about it later. 
Um, but first things first, looks like we got a, a dupe on board here, so let's take a look. Ooh, dust caps. Okay, so, um, uh, first off, no to the fungal spores because they need slime as fertilizer. There are no slime biomes on this asteroid, so that's not a crop that we're going to be doing anytime soon. Um, now for a dupe, um, I'm looking at a few others, looking at skills and interests and whatnot. Um, f uh, we need more farmers and we need more suit wearers, and as much as it um, pains me to take a mouth breather, I think we can handle it at this point. So, welcome aboard Nisbet, or as I could, um, should call them for our next name in game. Zephira! Welcome aboard, Zephira. Alright, let's get your stuff suited here, um, Zephira. You are going to be the next one in schedule numero seven. We should give the schedule... Uh, Team Mimsy, M and Z. There we go. All right. Uh, let's get the rest of yourself sorted, Zephira. Okay. So you are our farmer. So we are absolutely turning farming up all the way for you. Um, buildings, fine. Medicine, uh, medicine. Oh yeah, doctoring. Derp. Uh, I guess you can do doctoring, but uh, mimics our doctor. You, no, no reason to split that apart. Oh yeah, it's Shona. I just realized you uh, you need to be digging. Um, I, I I may not have set Shona. Uh, so yeah, digging priority. There we go. All right, and uh, skills. Let's see. We got we got Zephira, and yeah, we're gonna make you a farmer. We need we needs the foods, so you get to farmer. You get to do what you like to do. Perfect. All right, guys, let's keep it keep on keeping on here. All right, our uh, our containment room's almost done. I mean, I guess what I could have done is is push it all the way up to the abyssalite, but that's just be, that's just being a little bit too extra. We don't need to be quite that extra. This this should be enough. Um, I will tell you guys to sweep all this just to get this crud out of here. Excellent. Thank you, Larissa. And thank you for not teleporting to the other side this time. Okay, it is time. It is time that we uh, we pop this uh, pop this thing here. Cause we want to analyze you at a nine. Once the once this thing is popped, we can start the analysis. Um, now that will distract our scientist, the bow. But he seems good and distracted anyway. You're... I hear a rumbling. I don't... I don't want to pop it right as it goes, because getting in there is going to be a little bit difficult. He's going to be a little bit difficult. But it needs to be done. Yeah, I might as well clear all this junk out here. Alright, let's see here. That's... Oh yeah, we gotta plug that in. Forgot that this shut off here. Requires 10 watts of power. Alright, Shona.
Now, I want this thing, um, if the pressure becomes, goes above that, we want it to stay red for now. Even, even once this thing pops, uh, we want that to be red. So the bow here is now going to be analyzing this gas geyser. Um, and we want him to get as much progress done as possible. Because it's going to be a little uncomfortable in there for him uh, afterwards, once this thing actually erupts. So we're, we're hoping that he gets it completed by then. If not, we're going to need an Atmo suit. Which, by the way, how is our um, uh, textile loom? There we go. Let's see here. Is this all? Yeah, this is all unbreathable gas. It's starting to seep. In fact, we gotta we gotta push all this down a little bit. Um, I think this filter is well the filter here. I may I may just break out this filter. You know, let it let it let it let let this air be free. Um because that's kind of being a bottleneck here and we got to we got to get this gas out here and if we get little wafts of hydrogen out in the base that's not the end of the world we could capture them um so yeah you know what i think that's the correct answer here so we're gonna we're gonna draw a gas pipe down here we're going to um deconstruct all this stuff We'll keep these other pipelines in there for when we're whenever we're ready for them. But yeah, for the time being, I think I think our our time with here is is over. But what I wanted to do, the whole reason for me looking into that, is I want to I want to go to these two choke points and well push air back. Um, so I want uh, I want to go like right here and say gas vent and just push the oxygen there um, and then I want another one of these pushing the oxygen here and then the oxygen will just rise up from from uh, from here. In fact, I may cut some of these other vents so the, the lines are just going to these two vents. We'll see what the air pressure does, but we want to we wanna beat back the uh, carbon dioxide and the chlorine and all that other junk uh, down to the lower depths, because that's kind of where they're supposed to be. And the pressure's down, down here isn't so bad. Once we get the hydrogen a little bit more dense, uh, I think the heat will disperse a little bit more evenly. All right, he uh, he pooped out some phosphorite. That's good. Oh, and they they both been shaved. Excellent. So I think uh, I think we're in good shape here with that coming uh, coming together. Oh, it's a bow. I hope you know to get the heck out of there once that thing blows. What's your progress like here, bud? We, uh... I may need to build a hospital room. Oh, somebody... Zef oh, Zephira. She's she's brand new. She's just getting over the stress. Speaking of... Uh, well, she's going to claim herself a, a bed here. That's fine. Um... Hmm, where are we going to sneak one or two or three or more beds in here? Actually, uh, another bedroom would not be bad, like right here. Um, 
that could work out because they're they're close enough to the bathrooms. That's kind of the whole point of of them. I mean, we could do right above the bathroom, but I kind of want this central area to be um, the mess hall whenever I'm in inevitably forced to build one. Um, so I think this little area up here is going to be our next bedroom. So let's let's get that su um, suited here. Oops. And you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna make you guys uh, so make it a little fancier this time. Uh, just a little little extra fancy pants. Uh, because we can, because we have them. Um, where was I? Oh yeah. There we go. And then for furniture, we will get ourselves... I'm still waiting on a decorator. Like, seriously, I am waiting on a freaking decorator. I, I want to go further down that, but no, apparently not. But a couple of flower pots is a non good non-decorator way to make that happen for us. Um... There we go. Pneumatic door. Dig these out. And uh, we'll call it a day. Heck, we can... Um... What is this? Hi no, it's just hydrogen and hydrogen. Yeah, it's just a little hydrogen gas. Not worth fussing over in that quantity. Aha! There it goes. So, here comes the natural gas at 500 degrees. It's going to get hot. But we want it to get started here. It should cool itself down a little bit. Hopefully you don't fry. Yep, well, you don't like that. It's hot, yet yeah, it sure is. Um, I think. Uh, hey, you guys are getting nice and close there. I'm gonna cancel these uh, pickups because, well, I only want our, I only want uh, one guy in here. Overheated. Oh. Hmm. This thing's becoming a little bit more dangerous than I realized it would be. I I get I have a plan B for it. This just needs to stop emitting gas. We'll, we'll find a way to cool it down. All right, folks. I think that's a good stopping point here. So bedrooms uh, get, this get, um, more things get, and uh, fairly soon this, uh, this cloud get, and fairly soon this pump get. Um, this is not broken here. It just took... It just took, yeah, see, it's just, it just took a little bit of damage here, but it's not actually, it's not actually taking serious damage here. It's not broken, broken. We do need to get some uh, stronger stuff. And one other downside to um, uh, not having slime, oh, the bow. Yeah, you are, you're not going to be here. Right, so now you're taking more continuous overheat damage. All right, uh, Thibaut, you, um, we, we will save this for, for later here, my friend. You need to get out of here. Um,
do not want you taking damage here. We're going to lock that until that thing's done having its... No, 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 the bow. We're not going to cancel it, but we are going to deprioritize it. The bow! Can I select the bow? Thank you. Get back down there. Once it's done doing its thing, then we'll open this back up for repairs and what have you. Because, yeah, it is hot in there. We just gotta wait for it to calm itself down. All right, but hey, we are uh, pumping out all this hydrogen here, so that's a plus. And now it is calm. So you know what? Um, just leave it on auto, and uh, we'll put this back to a nine. And yeah, we can repair it. And that's all just going to go trucking through here. <laughs> this air is all just warming it up a little bit. All right. So, yes, um, I keep getting distracted. So uh, until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya.